It feels it feels like this. It's been a long time. <laughs> it feels like oh, it's it seems been like a year. I haven't seen you since like before Christmas. So we're yeah. back another episode, man. For sure. We have a lot to talk about. Actually, a lot to catch up on. It's been a minute. Yeah. Tell us what's been going on with you, man. We already had a good uh, talk. We, we can disclose. What we <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but you know what Milos had happen while while we were uh, gone, with an earthquake. What do yeah, you mean? Uh, I showed up first day in uh, Tokyo, and uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I arranged everything. Like next day, we're gonna uh, go the whole family, bullet train, three rooms, and everything else. And earthquake happens, and there was tsunami, and they have to evacuate the whole. Area. I would text yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, text yeah that's about it. Uh, yeah. I think you were you were were you overseas then, or? Okay. Yeah, that's you. In, uh, I was in so South did Africa. you actually feel it? Because it yeah, wasn't yeah. you weren't in the epic center of what happened, right? No, but uh, we felt it that's definitely. What did it feel like, Milos? I always I want to ask people when they've been I, in an earthquake. I've been many times in earthquake. See, so you I'm feel it, like a you magnet. Feel dizzy or? No, I mean you can. Yeah, you can feel like yeah, it's yeah. going all over the place. You know the uh, day when uh, Flex Wheeler finally won uh, USA. That night it was a big time 92. earthquake. Uh, I do remember those like Barry the May, uh, Sonny Schmidt, uh, Aaron Baker. And we were driving on the freeway, right? So you're looking at the car in front, and you look like you know, oh, you know, what is this? Bumps on the road, and then you you go through the same thing. You didn't even realize. Okay, we were a little bit high <laughs> from uh, from a party, but it was a major earthquake. Then uh, I was with Sonny Schmidt once in uh, that uh, hotel in uh, Venice, uh, Marina Pacific. Marina Pacific. And it was shaking so badly. I mean, I've never seen a, a big man like uh, Sonny that scared running. <laughs> I was in Italy, in uh, in Torino, uh, you know, one year, and that happened. You know, so, yeah, I'm kind of... I, I moved to the United States 87, and I was um, uh, on the bed with the, with the wheels, and I woke up on the uh, next, uh, you know, wall over there. Really? Yeah, that, that was that bad. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. I was actually, I was in town doing a photo shoot for Flex when it was at uh, the Costa Mesa gym. What was that? Uh, yeah, Metrics. Pub Metrics. Pub Metrics, yeah. And that was the first time I ever experienced an earthquake. So we were staying at that uh, that hotel, the uh, Marriott, the uh, Residence Inn, where, yeah. where Chris Lund used to stay before he stayed over yeah. by your gym. Yeah. And I remember waking up, and Chris Aceto was staying with me. Every we had like one of those double bedroom things, and I remember like watching the chandelier like yeah. shaking, and then Crazy. everyone was like walked out. Like we ran to the door, and everyone was like outside in their pajamas and everything else. I'm like, damn, that was the first earthquake. I, but I felt like, I it's felt like dizzy, I, yeah. I felt like not dizzy, but like discombobulated in a yeah. sense. You know, yeah. you ever been in an earthquake? And then yeah. when I went to Japan, actually in '04, yeah. it was just a common occurrence. Like it seemed like the, it was like small tremors, but yeah, I mean it's, it's a norm for some of these places where it's yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah. But I I feel like I kind of I, I kind of like it, but uh, you know I don't want to like it too much because <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> why would you kind of like it? <laughs> and, and it like this like this, this is not normal, so it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's How like often the, can you experience it? It's like being so in a tornado. Would you like to, and you shit, like to you be know? in a tornado or a hurricane? I've been in hurricanes. That yeah, sucks. Not really, but. Uh, Another thing, like let's say uh, I went to um, Trieste in uh, Italy, yeah, and it was uh, like most amazing. There was uh, lightning every like fifteen seconds for hours. I mean, major like thunderstorm, lightning. And I think it's great to watch. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're not in the middle of it. And, right? and then uh, let me tell you, I, I told this to my daughter uh, Alexandra. We were driving five years later to to uh, Venice. And I told her about this, and she kind of didn't really believe it, you know, because uh, her father is known to exaggerate things a little yeah. bit <laughs> here and there. You know, and it happened. It happened again. I mean, it's uh, really so, so she was aware yeah. of it. And yeah, so she had to give me a credit. Okay. How, how was the trip, though? I mean, did you get to experience what was probably the most unique thing you got to experience? Was in, it food Tokyo? or culture? Or? I, I love food in uh, I mean. Culture. A lot of raw fish and everything they eat there. Or? The Japanese food is the healthiest food out there by far, you know, and uh, no no wonder they have a uh, highest longevity. But the uh, interesting thing is this: that I was going to ask you, uh, what would you think average samurai height was? 
four, eight. Like the, the fighters oh, or four. the sword? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, extra samurai is because you know, I went out to uh, uh, some castle and there was a uh, uh, Yayatsu, and a samurai, and I, he was a shogun. So I said, okay, let me take a picture. But then uh, I said, this can't be like life size, you know, because I'm a monster. I'm like, like so much bigger, taller. And then this guy, uh, Alexander Tsuka, he's a uh, former pride fighter. Okay. He says, no, like, that's... Uh, How tall? 5'2". Okay, so I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> Those are like their best you fighters. 5'2 is like my favorite... Uh, uh, Who's 5'2 in bodybuilding? Uh, Nick Walker. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you, yeah. I think Sean Sean Reed, Reed, I, I think, think right? Yeah, I said that one what time. is um? What's you said he's five two. I said it uh, for Nick, and then uh, I took a picture of him. I know back to back, and he was taller. Like, yeah, oh, we put shit. you back to back. Yeah. It was like he's small, and he's the same height as you. <laughs> so food, amazing culture, yeah. weather. Yeah. What was the weather like? Not bad, not bad. What's their yeah. season there as you go? In it's the full Christmas season. Thing? It's okay. full season. Like right now, it's just snowing. But when I was there, it wasn't too bad. How was your flight there? Yeah, I talked to everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was Hita Tata spoken about there? Uh, I mean, is he well, very well? Yeah, known? he's he's a legend there, of course. I, I talk about him in the seminar. There was Mitsuro Kabe. He was my trust. And, 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 you, and I, yes. you had the guys with me that came, and I saw yeah. them for the YouTube channel. I think they came here actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. You the, sent the, me. A, you were uh, eating with them. Jin, Jin yeah, uh, very seminar. famous. Yeah, very famous. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But uh, it was a shocker to see Mitsuru. I mean, you, you did. I remember. Meet. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. tell me what he I was told, at Jay's what, house when he came. Yeah, yeah. So without Mitsuru, honestly, guys, like yeah. we wouldn't, you wouldn't see a lot of my old throwback footage from my yeah. DVDs and VHS tapes is from those shoots. So he did, did he five. talk? Did he talk about it? He talked about you all the time. Yeah. Really? The, 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 yeah, you were the best guy ever. He did five of your videos. Yeah, right? I still remember always waiting for the battle for the Olympia to come out. Yeah, yeah. and you'd have yes. to buy it. And they'd ship it, Mitsuru would ship it Does to he you. miss it, you think? I think he does. You know, uh, I, I kind of sense that he didn't have a, enough time to talk about, uh, you know, private issues because he was, he was translating my workout and then the whole seminar. And he is very well-versed about training. Uh, I mean, I don't speak Japanese to know if he Because he's a, he competed. He was a yeah, bodybuilder. He so. competed. Yeah. But uh, uh, I could sense it, and uh, Betty said that he was translating training perfectly. But then I started talking about uh, nutrition, essential amino acids, and then he would have a hiccup and say, what is essential amino acid? <laughs> I said, okay. So he wasn't. He was only branch chains back when he was probably doing it. Yeah. No one talked about essentials. I mean, even though they were essentials, they weren't a combination and a product, probably, right? Yeah. But, you know, he said hello, if I didn't say it. And uh, I think he wants to come back into the industry. He does? Yeah. But does he want to move to the States, or does he want to uh, stay there? He moved there so he can uh, have a peaceful place for his dog. And dog died. <laughs> so I know, but he was I in California, and you know, I mean... Yeah. He made money on his property. He lived in Laguna Hills, you know, because he lived very close to me, mm -hmm. actually, when I was in Alicia Vieja. So. Well, yeah, so consider you on Instagram. We miss uh, you, man. I'll send you the link. He still sends me Christmas cards. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he never did. Yeah, he sent me yeah. Christmas cards. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Mitsuru doesn't think yeah. he is. I is Jay to send a Christmas So you're doing, you're doing great. Health is, is. good. Health is good. Um, I, I start uh, Jack 60. I, I was saying Jack 61, but uh, I just turned 60. I'm gonna get myself in the yokai my condition. I'm gonna go the 51 too, also. Yeah. Tell us about some of these fights you've gone to. You went to some good ones. You went to you went yeah, to yeah. Toronto. What'd you think of Toronto? What'd you think of um, Dorian Hamilton's gym, by the way? Oh, muscle. Uh, excellent. Pure, pure muscle. muscle and fitness. Yeah. Excellent, actually. Uh, I'm dying yeah, to go, so and, I want to know: Is it worth this going? This is how it is exactly. It was before the fight, and Hunter calls me. Right, it's okay. Let's go uh, and train. It's like okay. You, you know, we don't have much time because I don't want to miss even early preliminaries, right? I don't miss thing. You know, so he goes, oh, no, 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 uh, I heard about this gym, let's go. It was like one hour away. And then I, I called the Antoine. Yes. By the way, Antoine is in crazy show. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that. Yeah, yeah. we can talk about Incredible, that. Incredible, yeah. And then I, I went to the gym. I didn't know what to expect. Jesus Christ. Massive. Everything, right? Massive, everything and anything. I mean, uh, uh, kind of, Hunter and I didn't really train, but we more tried the equipment. Of course, he, he ordered on the spot, like, five pieces. He would test something, he liked it, and then the next thing you know, he's on the phone. So what are you doing? 
he ordered. He, he likes it, he orders. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of probably what you do too. You know, but, but it's a phenomenal he's, he's got no more space for equipment, Milos. He's going to have to get rid of stuff. He's going to move. Yeah, that, I know. But, yeah, but, you heard. Yeah, okay. he told me. He told me. Uh, <laughs> I thought the, the details. But, hey, first of all, uh, two weeks from now, is Anaheim. Um, crazy. Right? So, Are you going to go? Volkanovsky to Puri. Oh, of course I'm going. You could drive to uh, that, though. I'm going to drive, actually. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, because I, I was thinking, by the time I get to, to the plane, yeah, yeah. the airport, oh, it doesn't make any sense. Unless you fly Jet Suite X. Whatever. I don't know. No, it's 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 a. Uh, hey, with airline. my luck, with my luck lately, and no, no, no. I, I'll drive, just. It's drive. a nice drive. Yeah. We just did it. I right. drive forever. So, but uh, but Volkanovski to Perea. I mean, come on, you know th this is. Uh, who this is going to be? Who's who gonna are win? we picking? Uh, Volkanovski, I'm a huge Volkanovski fan. I, I just met Ilya Tepuria. I mean, he's a half Georgian, half um, Spanish. Mirab is good friends. And, you know, so I had a chance to meet both him and his brother, Alex. And I loved him. But Alexander Volkanovski is Alexander Volkanovski. Alexander the Great. I mean, uh, I, I think he rushed into that rematch with the... Uh, it's the Makachev. He just thought, basically, okay, it's off. He lost, right? Yeah, you know. Some guys would like to believe I'm always ready, I'm always good, but you don't have a full training camp. Mm -hmm. And for somebody like Islam, you know, that was a mistake. But I, I think he's going to he's gonna show a different level. I mean, the Volkanovski is it, uh, I think. But uh, Tupuri is going to give him hell, so he's going to be one of those fights for ages. I have a random question. I don't follow you, see, like you knew. It seems to me like a lot of the top guys are from all over the world. They're not necessarily here. Or yeah. maybe they live here. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because it's popular everywhere. Cultures. Oh, but, no, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, you know, like uh, remember the uh, Brazilians uh, used to dominate a uh, lot yeah. of these. Now it's like you is get a, a lot of guys from the Middle East. and Yeah, but it just seems like most of the champ, like the Listen, really good ones are from overseas. As Dana White says, uh, you know, DNA is the fight. Of course. Okay. Any challenge, any sport, when you boil down to a soccer, basketball, blah, 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 you're challenging. No, the real challenge is a fight. Of course. You know, so this is how it goes. So this is how they grew up. And uh, especially now with the expansion of MMA, you don't just do the one martial arts. Yeah. You mix everything. I mean, uh, and I think it's the fastest growing sport, and I do think it's going to dominate you. Is it, it is. Uh, is it one of those things where if you were to start all over in life again, would oh, you have chased uh, this kind of career? Yeah, of course. of course. You love it. You seem to love it more than yeah. almost more than bodybuilding. Yeah, I love to watch. You know, I'm just, I can't fight. To I, I hate to say that because yeah. it's, uh, yeah. he's probably, you're, you're like a book of knowledge yeah. when it comes to. I, I'm going to tell you this. The, the only reason why I missed John Jones' fight, which kills me, was because it was Arnold Classic and, uh, and Samson's, there to win, and he won. Thank God, but, you know, it's still in the all right. The, so, like, so, back of my mind. so, tell us about your roster right now. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, I do want to say uh, uh, I want to say hello to Merab at Bradishvili. You know, he is a uh, friend of mine. Is uh, fighting against uh, Henry Cejudo at the same card, and uh, I do think that uh, you know he has. Is that a, the one that chance Poirier is on as well? No, no, Poirier is two ninety nine in Miami. In what is that? Too. A uh, week after the Arnold. Oh. Uh, Actually, uh, I'm going to be in Florida that week. Yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, have him uh, talk. <laughs> but let's talk about my roster. <laughs> so everybody's going to say, here it is, Milos again. Give me the names, first ha of all. Have a UFC's first, then who's yeah. second? Okay, Samson. so your roster, Samson. Uh, for, for the Arnold Classic, yes. uh, yeah, the James Hunts, the Hunts head and... Uh, Incredible. And uh, Horse MD. That's, so that's three guys. Three guys, yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't want to even say it. Um, if Hardy makes it, it doesn't make it because there is a speculation. Uh, you know, Danny James said on the He's not podcast, here. He's not here he's yet. He's here, not yet. Yeah. And I, I, do, I wish to God that all the guys always get the visas. As you know, my uh, athlete, a dear friend, Bechrus Tabani, qualified for Olympia twice, he didn't make it. Uh, Hadi Chopin qualified 2017 and 18 and didn't make it. So it's heartbreaking. And, and even when we talk about the last year's uh, uh, Honor Classic, when you think about it, they offered 300000 for the first place. And uh, uh, Hadi won the Olympia um, 11 weeks earlier. And Hadi being in top shape, top condition all the time, 
it's a, such a huge payday that is almost how that's life you, changing for somebody in Iran. I mean, yeah, he won four hundred thousand at Olympia, good, but it's still three hundred thousand payday. And, and I'm talking because uh, I'm going to actually question you too. You did many of those European uh, shows. Uh, you won the Olympia 2006. They went to uh, uh, what was it? Austria, Romania, Romania, Romania. and uh, and um, Holland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you went to India. And uh, back in my time when I competed, I mean, I was hoping. Vince Taylor is not going to go to some of those because you know if Vince is there, he was the king of the international yeah. shows. Yeah, I mean he he would he would take uh, one spot, and then if Sonny Schmidt is there or Ron Love is there or Thierry Pastel is there, and they were all doing all the shows, so it's like, and I command that because uh, hey, you are pro bodybuilder. This is how you make your living. How can you possibly say no to the payday? So I don't know why Hardy never did Arnold Classic so far. You know, when you think about I, it, I, I think the reason why it was so difficult to get him that visa for the Olympia that he couldn't get to in a calendar year. I think in the past, that's but, what I'm assuming. But how, how that works, usually when you get the visa once, can't you get visa so much easier? It's like it's a, a long period from, of time. From what I understand, every time an Iranian applies, it mm -hmm. starts over from scratch. Yeah. That's why it takes like oh, five, speaking, six, seven speaking months. Speaking of that, as I, I have that moment right now. Uh, Bekru Stibani, my athlete, wants to compete in uh, Italy and Spain as well. That's how he wants to uh -huh. start this season. And he's going to need a visa for Italy and Spain. So promoters, please, right now, I give you all, <laughs> all the time in the world. Can you do something? And, uh, all and you have to do, reach out to the uh, both the promoter. Just all I have, have to, to do is say it on the Jay Cutler podcast. So this, this is it. No, I have their co I'll give you their contacts, both promoters. Just yeah. send it to them. They'll give you whatever you need. Yeah, they, they didn't last time, so you know that's what I'm saying now. Gotcha. They, they said give us some more time. So, for example, uh, uh, anyway, the reason why I was saying, in case uh, uh, Hadi has a trouble, then maybe I'll have a trifecta again. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Samson, obviously yeah. front runner, S Samson, looks tremendous uh, from the pictures I've seen. He, like he's improved. Yeah, I this, mean his conditioning definitely looks. Uh, pretty stellar i mean I, I think he's you know it's always comes down he always looks great leading up yeah just that that last dial down is where he's been criticized against guys that have better like, conditioning which we question here is who is going to challenge him well you know let, let's talk about the, i mean the there's no former i mean is there any former champs uh arnold just champs? hottie because uh brandon's not doing it right yeah, so brandon's not doing it yeah uh, hopefully, Brandon is coming back uh, uh, later this year. But like yeah. I said, though, when people asked me, I would, did the Fuad podcast, and he said, who was the front run? I said, well, he's the defending, right? He's the defending champ. But, uh, but as far as... Um, Hadi's uh, favorite uh, uh, every show up. that he entered. I mean, yeah. Hadi placed ahead of him at the Olympics. Yeah, so not just Hadi that, but... Uh, uh, what I, have you done for me lately type thing, right? Oh, uh, lately he was second. <laughs> Close lately. second to, uh, Derek. to Derek and beating uh, Samson, right? So... Hadi is a threat in every show that he ever entered, yeah. Uh, but we talk about, they say that I'm biased because I'm uh, Samson's coach. Me coaching him not, has nothing to do with my opinion and everything that I say about him. For me, he is most complete from the aspect of size and the balance and aesthetics and thickness and width, you know, everything combined. Uh, you know, when... when uh, we go into discussion of the Olympia and uh, when, uh, when people start talking about who strided lutes, you know, and, and really I'm so sick and tired of that because we talk about this. You didn't have uh, strided lutes. And it's, uh, I mentioned this, do we start bodybuilding so we can get uh, strided glutes? Is this the reason why we go into the gym and you know, start being uh, bodybuilders? Oh, let me rip my glutes and, you know, so I can strip off and, and turn around and show you my ass. Like, who wants to see that? It's bonus. It's like, yeah, like measurement of the condition. But as we know, strided glutes don't equate to the crazy condition. You can be super strided there and, and have the rest of the body lesser, like you mentioned. Hottie. Yeah, or uh, you mentioned uh, Tommy Terrellinson. Yeah. Right? yeah like I mean, the, everyone, we could mention yeah. Fleck yeah. Lewis, Derek Lunsford, all these guys. Right? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Some people, it's just genetic gift, right? Exactly. But, uh, you know, why is so emphasized? I mean, I don't know. 
how the judges, I mean, how the judges, but public, they constantly talk listen, about. We it. know, we know how much effort to get the leanness and the, leanness. the body. Like this is where we hold, right? Yeah. It's like lower back, glutes, you know, stomach, whatever. Yeah. And that just is a, is a plus plus. And when you turn around, let's be real. Bodybuilders like they have trunks. Yeah. The glutes is like probably the largest muscle from bed, the back besides the back. Okay. So it's like it kind of goes to your eyes it's when center. you see that. Not to say this is, isn't a weird statement, I hope. Yeah, but, but like, like but your eyes go to that, right? Okay. Why, why your eyes go to the man's ass? The, That's same what I'm re- saying. I no, just said I, that. I think the same reason because it's center. <laughs> yeah, same thing when they yeah. turn the front, you no, always no, notice no, the yeah, abs. Yes, it's yes. A, it's a, as impressive as it is, it was kind of... Like oh, that, that that's not the point of bodybuilding. That's not the point of yeah, you know, yeah, it's a added bonus. I think if you have enough condition there, but Yeah. The I, I I I don't think it's I mean, I think they brought that up on the podcast when they asked my opinion. And it's not about him having strided glutes necessarily. It's about him having that definition and that dryness all over. Mm. I feel like the skin could pro- possibly and you know, based on how he looks now, he's in that direction. It's going to come down to, we know, the last 48 hours or, you yes. know, 36 to 24 hours yes. of that dial down. And, and, you know, this is where your expertise lays. Now you have someone like a Horace MD, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which, what is his name? I, I hate calling him Marcel Horace. Marcelo D'Angelo. Yes, Marcel. Yeah. yeah. Now he, dude, he is, looks incredible in proportions, right? Incredibly. Uh, I've seen his video yesterday. I mean, his legs to waist to shoulder ratio i mean is he masked enough to compete with these top guys milos yeah i mean if you see him on in romania he was standing right uh, right there next to because i know and, some of the poses like we talked the, about the back double versus the lat spread yeah. he can pop the lats but yeah nathan the, the asher for example yeah he was there so uh, uh horses uh um, I strange know, thing wh- about it why do they call him horse uh, i don't, I don't understand. understand then james asked me that question okay, okay. I mean, we have to ask Horse, why are you a horse? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if people, if, if this was a general yeah. person, which we have a lot of people yeah. that are listening or, or yeah. actually viewing this, and we're sitting there saying, horse MD, they're yeah. kind of like, okay, what? <laughs> you know? And then also MD, what that stands yeah. for? Medical doctor. Marcelo, yeah. Marcelo. <laughs> yeah, oh, Marcelo <laughs> DeAngelis. Yeah, okay. Yeah. MD is from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. He's got that <laughs> script. Got that script. Speaking of uh, Marcelo, yeah. But can and he mass up with the with the hotties and the Samsons and the James in the, and in the side poses? Yeah, you know for sure. In a, in a frontal biceps, once he lifts his arms, uh, you know it's it's good. Uh, what he loses is back double biceps. So so is he is considerably? He, you know, is the classic time affecting the full capacity density look of his physique? I'm going to ask you that because this is what happened to Regan. Yeah. Okay. He fell behind. I feel because he had to. He lost like, eighteen months. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's and sometimes that density, you know, it's it's years, right? I mean, you, I see you posting up pictures next to all these guys with your old pictures. My always, picture, I, no, I, I, I just, this, I just, I just saw, <laughs> I just saw a picture of you with the fake arms up against somebody. What are you fake arms? My my arms fake. What they were fake about? in the picture. I could tell. <laughs> uh Oh, you knew it. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, damn, no, those no. are my arms. I, I don't know which one is that. No, there that. was a front double you just posted with someone, and it was the fake arms. <laughs> damn, you're hurting his feelings. <laughs> you, you mean you mean '99 uh, uh, British Grand Prix with uh, with uh, uh, Maybe. Marcus Rule. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I use a little bit of Sintel here and there, like a, a gallon or two. You know, yeah. Yeah. Said a gallon or two. <laughs> but you would yeah. never suggest it, correct? Never, never ever. ever. So ever. listen to our yeah. people out yeah, there. Yeah, it's no, complete so, worst thing hey, you ever did. Th- th- thanks so much for uh, for reminding me again. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a dick you are! What a dick! Oh, yeah. Take arms. Okay, yeah. so mass. Yeah. So listen, uh, Marcelo. How does he, is, how does he win? Competitions, who Mars M Horse MD? How is he going? What to do you call win? it? Horse MD. Yeah, yeah I think so. So no. good math. No, how does he win? I uh, said, so listen. Well, can he actually win? It's hard for me, especially as uh, his coach. You know, to say, oh yeah, yeah, you have no chance of winning, right? But uh, you have to be hundred percent complete, and uh, if you're missing back double biceps, supposed to the point, right? Uh, you see. 
I know, but it, you see, it, it, how can Samson was missing? Uh, you know, maybe that to be like, you know, slam dunk. What I say uh, about uh, Ronnie Coleman, lights out, out yeah. game over. You that know, was against me, by yeah, the way. You know, yeah. so you're, you're insulting <laughs> me here, so I know he's, he's getting even for the yeah. fake arms. Yeah. He, 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 he was lights out, <laughs> game over. You but, had no uh, chance, sir. Yeah, but uh, listen, uh, uh, yeah. I think that this is still uh, uh, Marcelo's downfall, the, the backdoor biceps. Even is yesterday, it improving? it's improving. And look, a lot spread is crazy. You know, lot spread is crazy. So it's like that. Uh, just that one pose. I'm very impressed with him. Yeah, good. Very. Yeah. Side chest, ridiculous legs are crazy. Uh, you know, uh, he's making sure that his abs are going to be in big time. James. Crazy. Uh, just I mean, graininess. Funny. I mean, they're comparing his conditioning yeah. to Dorian Yates ish. Because he is a big fan of Dorian and uh, he appreciates his physique. He's also English, so there, there are many parallels right there. And he's uh, coming for that grainy, grainy conditioning, right? So he knows he's not going to outwit. You know, some of the people and out muscle, maybe. He's 270, rip. I know, so. all muscle people. But, but let me right? ask you something, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He definitely isn't as popping as he was. Yeah. But yeah. if he, it's a balance between the two, right? The conditioning, because I felt like maybe he was coming in a little too heavy, whereas now the condition is there. Yeah. Question is, is what's he going to do these last, how many weeks is it? Yeah. We are I trying mean, to maintain it. We have three weeks. Because right? he's yeah. in great. Yeah. I mean, what what more body fat is he going to lose he at this has, point? Uh, he has pretty much nothing. And that's. Uh, so now. Even is his uh, last message, like an hour ago, is like uh, uh, just to make sure that we balance it, don't lose what he has. So he, he does refeed quite often. I mean. He's uh, eating a lot, right? It, it's not planned. I mean, his, uh, his diet, uh, you know, amount of carbs, I don't even say it because a lot of people think he's not even dieting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, he eats quite a bit of carbs. Uh, because he can afford it, and because uh, he, tra he trains his ass off, he, he trains. He trains like really him. heavy. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, James, um, you saw him, guys, at uh, that Arnold Classic that I didn't, and I, on this very show, I, I criticized him. I didn't think he was in a crazy condition. And then you showed me 4K footage. Oh, like, he was oh, in shape. Yeah, he was in really good shape. So, uh, I think that now he's in way better condition than he was even at that show. I mean, this is super impressive. When, when you look at the video and you see in between poses, you know, when you just see the pictures, each pose, you know, uh, you have to question it. <laughs> but when you see the video, there is no question, okay, this is for real. And uh, uh, thin skin, fluorescent, like that cellophane, when you touch it, you can, you can see it, right? Uh, that's what he has. And then he's super strided full i mean that shoulders who nowadays have a strided shoulders and he's very proud of it because uh, and he even made that post don't ever pin your shoulder and and lose the definition on, on, a, on a strided delts and then tie in between delts and uh, and invasive triceps that's why it looks so great his back is detailed like you cannot believe okay with the um, I have two different things. With the uh, uh, horse MD, he can pull out the lats like crazy and uh, lat spread, right? And uh, uh, I want uh, James to pull out the lats from the front lat spread. You know, I still think, uh, I still haven't seen him. In, uh, he didn't pose for me in person. I have a feeling that we can figure out because I've seen those lats all the way out in a, a rear lat spread. And I, I don't know how you would... Uh, advise somebody when you see the lats this wide on the back, right? And then when they turn around and it's not really exactly there. So I'm always trying to say, like, visualize itself. Like, the only thing that you're thinking, not shoulders, not the arms, not that thing, just gain a couple of inches, gain a couple of inches, just lats out. So only thing that you think is lats out from the front and from the back. I had this back in the day with the uh, flex wheeler. When he would do the uh, front lat spread, he didn't look as good. And then when he does uh, back lat spread, and you look at him from the front, he's doing back lat spread, he looked better. I said, listen, just do the back lat spread, you know, to the front. And for some people, you know, this solves the issue right away. But anyway, James is, um, 
very motivated to bring his all-time best, and he doesn't know what his all-time best would be sufficient to. Can he win the show? He, on his strengths, on this crazy graininess, completeness, he is complete, nothing is missing, tons of muscle, and you know he's going for that. Can he beat Samson? Uh, uh, as I said before, Samson is most complete bodybuilder. You mentioned tons of people, you know, said that if he brings it, nobody can beat him, right? It's just like the level that he needs to bring that uh, now he would say, okay, this is sufficient to win every show you ever enter. He's probably got the best body in the world at this point. Why, why throw that probably there? He has the best body in the world. Yeah, but he and I said, I'm not needs to land it. <laughs> he needs to land it. Yeah, you know, all over, right in the right places. I mean, Derek is our champion. We have to respect yeah. him. Yeah, Derek. Okay. Yeah. Um. Absolutely. Obviously, you know, they had their showdown, and he wasn't second. He was third. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So no disrespect to Hadi either, but you know, we always talk about that one person if they can actually nail it and be a hundred percent. Victor Martinez. Flex Wheeler, you know, arguably was Flex Wheeler better than Dorian Yates back in that era. If Flex Wheeler was his best and Dorian was his best, like, yeah, he wasn't as wide, but yeah. when we talk about the history of bodybuilding. Yeah. Okay, what, what do you think of that? Okay. I, I, think, I think more than 80% of people will say the best physique ever was Flex Wheeler. Would you think? agree or disagree? Yeah, I would. I mean, ideal, uh, this is what I'd want to look like. Um, like genetics, structure, like the wh whole package, right? Yes. Right? You'd agree? 93. I, but how many people say this? Yeah, he was phenomenal. But, it was a few more times. I mean, yeah, we positive. always say Ronnie Coleman's the GOAT, Lee Haney's the GOAT, Arnold, okay? Arnold for his time. Yeah. I'm we all have good. that, but b because Wheeler never won the Olympia, he, it's very hard to establish goat status, especially yeah. against a Phil Heath who's a seven time and Arnold seven time and yeah. you know Haney or or a Coleman that's an eight. So I mean Dexter we talk about too yeah. possibly. I mean he was one time Mr. Olympia, but is that one of the better for, like bo goat bodybuilders, right? So it's a it's an opinion, but when you say best body. I mean, Wheeler, you knew coming into every show, whether he was 85, 90, he was going to be pushing the top. Yes, and, and he knew that. Uh, so some people come like this into the show. I don't need to be 100% like Chris Cormier many times. He say, this is good enough. Uh, you know, he would even say, I'll beat these fools, <laughs> you know, being 80%. Uh, so here's the interesting thing. If you ask me, I'm a shape guy, a steady guy. Of course, I love Flex Feel a hundred times better than Dorian. There's no question, right? And then somebody told me, okay, now I'll put them on the stage and go pose by pose and judge. Yeah, damn. I will get it to Dorian. You know, and this is me. So I know how judges are thinking. When I talk about, uh, oh, Nick uh, Walker doesn't have aesthetics, you know, but Nick Walker has everything. He's got the muscle. He has a muscle. And then... You pose, uh, you even point out, like, okay, so I look at his side chest. I don't like his chest. I, uh, I know, but, but, but that's why there's <laughs> seven, eight, oh, not eight judges, right? Oh. How many judges? How many scores count? I, I think Five. it's nine judges okay. and then uh, two high right. okay, so being erased. But that's why it's not yeah. you or he yeah, or yeah. me or saying, that's the one. I mean, the same thing with the Olympics or, you know, there's judges, right? Boxing the same. Yeah. Okay, so l let me ask you, uh, this is very interesting, that you, you are not maybe in a category of... I'm not uh, aesthetics, no. You can aesthetics say like uh, Sean, uh, Kevin, Flex, Chris, right? For example, let's, let's take this group. Mm -hmm. So you beat all those guys on your powers and your strengths, outmuscle them, right? But uh, you even mentioned, okay, uh, Flex against the Dorian, and who wins? I am a shape guy. I think that Flex Wheeler is the best body I've ever seen in my life, right? So, but then when you really start scrutinizing and pose by pose, okay, he didn't have that width, and uh, that can cost him in this pose, that pose, you know? So uh, I know exactly when Steve Weinberger said, listen, 93 Dorian was not even human. Uh, I had argument and I asked him, come on, look at 91 Lee Haney, 91 Lee Haney. 
I'm going to say this. I don't think that anybody ever dominated Olympia as uh, Lee Haney dominated. Like every year, it was not a question. Like I, I feel, I feel, feel Phil Heath did a pretty good job, though. Pretty I know good job. I know pretty good job. Won eight. Yeah, but you know, Labrada claims he had ninety. Nineteen ninety, and, and you know, and uh, I thought so, maybe. But then when you revisit and, and watch the, all the the video footage. Even though uh, Lee Haney will scale down a little bit, like everybody else was, because it was drug tested, you know he was still Lee. Well, Haney. Lee was read it, leading the prejudging. That's why his yeah. thought process were. Like who, who are the other guys like, besides Lee that were really competitive with Rich Gaspari? Was, sec- was yeah, second? Yeah, was there anyone? Was there anyone Lee's? I mean, uh, his size? No, 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 no. Sergio no, no, Oliva no, no. was right. <laughs> He was kind of on the way out. You know, when you look at the pictures of Sergio, I just reposted on my uh, uh, Instagram story, crazy front last spread of Sergio, that it looks mind-boggling. It looks like this is not even a human. (sighs) Like, you know. But again, how much did he weigh? He was way, I mean, when we talk about uh, 270, right? Nobody was 270 back in the day. Not even close. What was Arnold, 245? Right, uh, put this in. you know that's the one thing you know. I, I actually would love a scale, you know. Good to see it, to prove I, it. I, I mean, listen. I think every guy. I mean, I would love to see. Okay, what are you guys weighing when you're backstage checking in for prejudging? I you know, somebody had that. He would bring a goddamn scale. Yeah, I, I would love to just yeah. so it, that, listen. Why, we don't talk about the weights as much anymore yeah. because it's so open, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to get some of these two, two twelve like the hotties and the Derricks and really know what these guys <laughs> weigh to say. Okay, Samson's three hundred. Yeah, and then you have Derek, who's I'd guess around two thirty. Okay, is yeah. that fair? I don't know. I, I think no it's fair. <laughs> no, I don't know if he's uh, mid two thirties or low. Give, or give, give or take. I mean, but you know, so Dennis and uh, uh, Chris Cormier rightfully said, "Look, they they don't look so outsized, and they don't. No, neither Hardy or uh, Derek. They they create illusion. They're, they're very very good." I was super impressed with Derek 2022 when he first stepped on Olympia open yeah. stage, and I didn't expect that 212 can be that competitive. And he opened up the that was the craziest feet taper I've ever seen. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, ever seen, right? So, yeah, you, you know, he creates illusion. Hardy creates illusion. I was talking to Dennis back in the day when uh, Big Rami was beating him, and I said, like, just watch, Big Rami is. Epitome of, wa- of wit, like you, like uh, wit is crazy. I know, but I was two fifty four. I don't, I, I don't believe your scale either. You know, they, uh, yeah. fake hey, scale. Whoever <laughs> believes that he's two fifty four in two thousand nine, you were two seventy at least. Yeah. What were like, you the year before? What were you in oh eight? You lying in a, about the weight like my ex wife. Two sixty, two sixty. I mean, I was two seventy. Uh, Three and two sixty seven when I won my first one. So pre, pre one day before, two seventy three. The finals I was two sixty seven. I mean Arnold Classic two seventy three when I won in 02. Yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, by the way, uh, uh, James Allen said wants me to say that thank you for inspiring him. Your two thousand two Arnold Classic is like mind boggling and silly. Is this really two thousand two? You know, it's it's huge there, bro. Yeah, and I tried to. Glitch. So uh, he did say, "Did you?" Yeah, uh, that wasn't it your biggest ever yeah, on any stage. Two thousand two. Yeah, oh two was my big two seven. Yeah, and I have to. Uh, can you pull some pictures later? Because yeah, I've seen some of the videos uh, on the Instagram that I would, if I d- wouldn't know you, I would think that uh, this has to be fake. Like when you're walking on the stage th- from the side, and then you turn to the front, and as you're turning, you just keep going. Keep going, like mm. unseen width, okay? So is this 2002? I mean, all those you did, I was wide a lot, you know? Yeah. I mean, I look back sometimes and really like, wow, I actually looked like that. But I'm glad it can inspire James. You know, yeah. I, he, he posted up yesterday the quad stomp poster. I sent it to him, you know? And, uh, you know, to, to be able to touch generations for me now is is absolutely amazing. And you know all these guys that you're training are all you know fans of my accomplishments, right? Yeah. Because it's it's the pinnacle, right? I mean, everyone strives to get to greatness, okay? okay. And it, we all follow different paths to get there. I'm never gonna. I didn't hold the record. You know, I wanted five titles. I end up with four. Some controversial. Some you know, 
where I shoulda, coulda. Stage O one, right? So there's a lot, I mean, in, in what we go through. And you know, I mean, you were top 10. <laughs> like, and you, if I, I understand, but like, th that's a big accomplishment. That, that was for a win you. for you, though. Like, I'm sure you no, were yeah. proud of yourself. Yeah, should, yeah. I mean, did you ever think you'd get there? There's a question. Like, there were certain probably low points of your career, but there's also high points. But who would ever think that today we're sitting in this room, you know, doing this podcast, you're still financially supported from bodybuilding. You're you're recognized as one of the, the greatest minds, insight people, knowledge of supplements, nutrition, training a aspect. You're working out with Hunter, Hunter which yeah. is, you know, he's a phenomenal person, right? He's the, the, best. Networks, he's the best person in the Networks is everything, right? Yeah, You're yeah. doing what you love. Can you, did you think at 60 years old, because of this, coming to the States, you know, you were also had to suffer with that, right? Yeah. That you would be in the position that you're in. Well, li listen, I don't really project, uh, you know, things like in the future, I always live in the moment. It's like here, what is here today? Like, did I, I plan? Said, you ever sit back and think about it though, Milos? Yeah, I, I, and I appreciate to look back yeah. for sure, but uh, even right now, I, I know that it's a wrong advice to any young people. Like, okay, don't secure your future and don't look for the future, but live the moment. As uh, yeah, I was telling to to uh, Regan, you, know. you kind of got to do both. No, I told Re Regan, uh, spend the goddamn money. No, don't be saving. It. It. Today it's a little different than it was. I would say even <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah, no, you had different. Like, but I tell him, in, yeah, hey, listen, spending the money when you're 30 years old is completely different story when you're spending money when you're 60 years old. Okay, of course. So he's not gonna know that unless he spend it. So you know, experienced guy is telling him like, you know, spend the money now. Anyway, that's uh, that you can cut this part. <laughs> no, 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 we'll keep it there. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we don't so cut out. We don't cut stuff. <laughs> so, uh, um, as you were asking, uh, lack, you, lack of edit skills. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you know why we don't cut stuff? Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I I had uh, Dennis. We know how. It's your joke. Yeah, I know. Uh, I had Dennis uh, cut 18 minutes of the podcast because he was talking so much shit, and he said, "Okay." <laughs> I say he says this is the last time I ever do it. So next time you say this something. This is what we need to do. Uh, Dennis, please um, send that footage to uh, us. Yeah, we yeah. want to use it you as a blooper. You have this thing, though. You, you always try, like, oh, man, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, Why <laughs> can't you control yourself? Because I, I'm proud of not having a filter. If it's on my mind, why wouldn't I share it? <laughs> you you know? have no idea this shit. I would love to I say it. I know, anyway. but, uh, yeah. I, and I kind of regret it, but I said, like, you know what? I, I'm authentic, and uh, this is me. I'm passionate about it. If I said something, I would stand behind what my claims, right? So, as this is going to be on the, uh, on, on the messages under this uh, podcast. Oh, here it is again. You have a lot, no, you have a lot of fans here. You have a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah well, talking about... Coach. What was the topic exactly. of our podcast today? Arnold Classic. Arnold Classic. Okay, Pretty. you got other names where I'm going to go okay, with, too. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so I'm getting into his life here a little bit. and uh, That's okay. You know, I'm I'm getting yeah. in a little insight. I like to do this. Like I said, I feel like we haven't yeah. communicated as much, and I apologize for that because normally oh, I'm checking on. Yeah, you, you always check on me. No, no, I have to say, it. I almost I feel too. guilty. Listen, you do it like once a month, but he does like uh, two, three times a week, which is like, oh my god. And I'm sure you do this with everybody. Not necessarily. Yeah, but I you, try to with, but I yeah, send you a message. This is, this is great. At least well, uh, three every three to four weeks, just checking on you, seeing how you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah, three or four weeks. I said once a yeah. month. Yeah. Well, how often do you check on me? I don't check on anybody. Which is <laughs> At least you're honest. Um, yeah. yeah. It's just not in that, me. Though. It's yeah. just not in me. Yeah. You know, uh, like, okay, sorry. So let's go Let's go back to some of the other names here. Oh, yeah. We have, okay, the next one. What about uh, Raphael Brandau? I absolutely love his physique. Mm -hmm. I I think a world of him. Uh, is he going to be improved? Can I he mean, win? Yeah, he, he looks bigger. Uh, look. Uh, when he placed 10th at Olympia 2022, I, I loved his body, shape, condition. Everything was there, right? But then, oh, it was too small. And that is a kind of, how can this be too small, right? I, I just said this to someone the other day. When you see his physique, you, you don't see holes in it. And then yeah. he's 260 plus, but when he's standing next to the other guys that are his, that they're the same weight, he doesn't appear That's that as thing. big. But That's he that is. Thing. Density, yeah. To, to bring back to uh, when you were saying... Flex Wheeler next to Dorian. Okay, if you look at them separately, if you look at them separately, 
Oh, uh, look, for like 100 times better. I'm going to stay out of the room, yeah. So the next time it's like, okay, how can you ignore this with But there's the like legs? 40 pounds so, there, too. You know, the it's just uh, this kind of thing. So um, he, uh, Rafael Brandao, won uh, Romania, uh, you know, back... Uh, Four, the, three years ago? Yeah, three years and, and then uh, he improved for the Olympia, right? He will... He, I think it was a, a great condition, great shape, everything. He gave more size. He put more size. Right now, he's not exactly in that kind of condition. A lot of people question, once you dialed in and get to that condition, are you going to again lose that fullness? Because from the very beginning of uh, Rafael Brandao on the pro st uh, stage, when he was competing even in some European shows and everything, most beautiful shape, everything is there, but everyone, he just needs a little bit more size. Mm -hmm. Now... Standing him next to uh, um, Samson, of course, Samson's going to overpower him, right? You know, stand, stand him next to uh, Hadi Chopin. I just answered your question. You know, so. He's going to get overpowered. Maybe. Maybe. I, I, I think know. he'll be on the first call out. A lot of pressure. And then him and uh, Marcel, listen, they're two Brazilian guys. A lot they're of pressure on Ra Rafa because, you know, switching coaching, mm -hmm. you know, sitting out. You know, this is where the and anticipation. He, and and a he's more. the guy from Brazil that's kind of been at the well, forefront. Well, yeah. for there's a, a lot. Of, there's a ton of Brazilians in the show, and it goes for male. You know, Ramon at the females, everyone. But yeah. he has a lot of pressure because a lot of expectations with him. Okay, what have you done? It's like the Regan effect, right? You sit out to improve. What are you going to bring? I, I, I think that he put some tissue. I mean, there's definitely. I mean, a lot of people have him third in the contest right now with the early. And I hate predictions, by the way. I hate doing it. I I don't want to do it. I so, got forced to do it on one podcast. I'm not going to yeah. do it on this one. But. To, to to make it uh, official, me as a coach of three guys that I think can you know beat it up, can Rafael beat uh, any of my, all, all three of my guys? He could. Why why not? I'm not saying they're, they're, they're safe. Yeah. They're not safe. I mean, this is how it is. I'm not going to be biased coaches. So There's no business. Yeah. He, he has a big business. He beat uh, uh, Samson before in uh, Romania, right? It was very close in Prague when uh, yeah. it was him, uh, Regan, and, uh, and Samson, when Samson won. Uh, so, uh, Rafael Brandao is my hashtag bodybuilding also. He has everything. Aesthetic shape, thickness, no weaknesses, balance. He has a very good back. So, when you're going to compare him next to uh, Marcelo, that's going to be Brazilian you know, match. And, and I'm sure that a lot of Brazilians anticipate, you know, that prestige, who is the yeah. best uh, uh, Brazilian bodybuilder. Uh, I'm sure it goes. You know, they're friends, but I'm sure they're, they're, they're dying to beat each other. Next on the list, we have Della Rosa. John Della Rosa. Yeah, I know you're very good friends with yeah, uh, yeah. John. Uh, he sent me some pictures with his update, too. I like him very much. I did mention uh, once recently that uh, he just doesn't have a size for them. And then I was ripped on all those messages like, oh, are you crazy? You know, John Delarosa doesn't have, doesn't have a size of those guys. Mm -hmm. I love his shape. I'm sure he's going to be conditioned. I think you, you're going to see the difference in size. Mm -hmm. I do think even the up update pictures that you're seeing. But throughout the history, you've seen 1993 Flex Wheeler. When you say that's the best Flex has ever been. It was, was 216, 17 yeah. pounds, right? So who cares? You know, that uh, crazy conditioning creates illusion of the size, but is it really, you know, when, when you stand next to, I mean, Andrew Jack was super conditioned and he was standing next to uh, uh, Samson at Anno Classic last year, and it was visible, you know? So, you know, that's, that's what I'm thinking, that uh, John De La Rosa, with all the beautiful shape and V-taper and everything, you can't even see any uh, damage on the biceps that he tore, thin guy, yeah. you know, that's beautiful. Is he going to be competitive? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, again, you're talking top three placing? Mm -hmm. I, I think he's uh, not a um, favor to, to, to be in top three. Um, Mo Shaban. He's uh, he's uh, dangerous. He's uh, he swears to me. I saw him. He came to see me at L.A. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and he says you're gonna be surprised. Okay, uh, but he's he's staying under wraps, unlike Antoine, mm -hmm. who we've seen. Which now, of course, he, in our eyes, because we've seen what Antoine looks like. Antoine says hello too. Uh, I told him, 
you know, that um, can he looks very impressive. Every, everybody you know? loves uh, Jay. I mean, unless that light was just spot on perfect, he's got that like Draininess. super. Yeah, no but, light, but no, no light can uh, you know not even yeah, your, your fridge, not even your fridge yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's definitely, but Mo Mo <laughs> said I th he's improved. He's had some time, right? So he's <sighs> look at Mo. He has everything. He says the balance is better between the lower body and the upper body now. So yeah. He just never really nailed the conditioning. That that's uh, the way I see it. I mean, even when he was going to, uh, you saw him last time in Egypt, right? He was like he was Egyptian, and then what did he placed there. He got second to Regan. And Samson got third. Was it? Yeah. Okay. That was Egyptian. Yeah, that's a show. He was won. second. Yeah. So he got. Samson looked crazy there too. He did. Yeah. 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 So and that yeah. that's that 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 show is when you saw Samson going. Arriving. He's only going to start doing this, yeah. and then then the next week he was placed ahead of Regan, yeah. and then in Prague he won, yeah. and then Samson's just been on that upward yeah. trajectory. He was still so to so Moshaban. I mean, uh, um, he's covered up. Uh, his coach uh, Psycho Fitness was uh, singing praises about him, and they don't want to show it. So it's like. Uh, going to be a surprise factor. We talk about that. Would you like to see him? I mean, we are fans of bodybuilding. When I posted your pictures before the Olympia and everybody was fucking so mad, I I seen it. I, 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 thank, thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, right? I said, I'm going to take the beating. I don't care. You know, Wheeler's going to, you know, thank crucify you. me. I was more confident. Yeah. There you go. But, yeah. but, the, uh, it's the fans. Who doesn't want to see Jay Cutler, you know, so close well, to the, the magazine was paying show. me a lot and used to leak the yeah. pictures, you know. <laughs> so how bad is this for a magazine? Oh, because you have to see for the first time in the magazine. Back then it made all In the magazine, you're going to see. Now it don't matter. Professional <laughs> photography and whatever. You know, here is just a snap. <laughs> You know, okay, I didn't snap one photo, I snapped 20. You know what I'm thinking of? <laughs> I'm thinking of the editor, like, oh, we got these great pictures <laughs> of Jay, they're going out, and I was like, it's a no, wh why are they all over the internet? It's oh, Milos leaked them. Oops. <laughs> we already saw the photo shoot on Milos's camera before the photo shoot came out <laughs> four months later, five months later in the books, you know? But yeah, I, I like to see it. I, I know. Love I, I, I understand why, like, Phil Heath always stayed under wraps, right? I mean, it was yeah. never. He only leaked those one before, what was it, before the Iron Man one year in New York? Those. Really? Grainy ones so this is out. this is what people say, and uh, I think Dennis James also said, when the you post, like we were posting Dennis James pictures before, yeah, yeah, yeah. fully loaded, pumped from the training in the gym, like oh my god, it looks like Mr. Olympia, like holy shit, right? So now they're gonna gauge what is on the stage with that fully pumped, crazy look. So Dennis says like uh, many people when they post these pictures and then. Uh, audience get that idea what they look like and then they see them a little bit different like oh they're not as good I say you just ruin for yourself so it was better if you didn't even show anything before and let them see you for the first time I'm just uh, speaking from the aspect of, uh, of a fan I like to see it I love seeing Hadi chop on right now you know the, the uh, he's posing much more than before I don't know why it's great uh, I guess he's not not in um, you're America yet, right? You're, right here, yeah. you're stirring it up. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Is I, I mean, uh, it up and listen. If you're confident, why is, why is he stirring it up? Of course. If you're confident, <laughs> give me. If you're confident, give me one reason why you won't post it. That's what Nick Walker does. He's confident. He, you know, you know, look at me in the. I, I don't know if there's the a morning. Bit, I don't know if there's a better off-season body than than Nick Walker. That's because he's. Contest shape so around. Much, like, is, is so much muscle. I think he could probably. I mean, we know he's super rigid with his program. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next. But name, he doesn't. He doesn't never name, steer away. Let's talk about Justin Rodriguez. Well, yeah, we're so in a hurry. I mean, let me take my time. He's oh, I thought you were done. Best. I thought you were done on. Uh, no, no. So on Shabon. Like a, no, on Shabon. Yeah, Shaban can be a surprise. Let's let's talk about let's, Antoine. Let's talk about Antoine though. Okay, uh, he, he, he said he uh, said. Justin Rodriguez. I'm just um, going down the list. Okay, okay. Justin Rodriguez, for me, had a similar structure of um, great that you mentioned, Victor yeah, Martinez. Sure. Only because he has the bicep, the front. Yeah, front and back. Yeah. Though, I mean, it's very similar. And then it's like uh, th those monster arms, the, you know, there's, there was similarities, right? And then it was Justin that just missed the peak so many times, right? 
So you don't even know how to gauge it. Uh, the way he looked at the Arnold Classic two years ago, yeah, it was prejudging. Pre prejudging. Yeah. If he uh, shows up like this and maintains that look through the whole prejudging, that's a dangerous uh, Justin. Yeah. But never in my life have I seen that abs get washed out so fast. You know, the from you know not great but very very good to you know nothing. And then the leg separation gone, and uh, yeah, it was just a different guy. I saw it faster one time. Yeah. In Italy. When we in Massachusetts, you were in a panic. Well, when, yeah, when, when uh, <laughs> we had to have the... the he went, the he went from later. shredded to... Yeah. Looked like he was off-season in about yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, uh, Justin, yeah. Uh, I think Justin's see, Do you see him in the first call, the mix? If he brings it, yeah. Listen... There's so many great guys that if they bring it... He's got the body, you know? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised that, that there's going to be, a, you know, eight guys in first call out. Probably you couldn't. Well, there's only like 10 guys in the show. I know, but... Uh, but Just put them all out. You know, God knows. Let me see here. God knows. So, Antoine, next. I'm super impressed. First, I saw him in the gym. And I saw him uh, uh, shirt, not shirtless. Well, he uh, was in tank top, so you can see enough. Uh, what you've seen yesterday or the day before, super thin onion skin. Samir Banui was will be blown away with the 26 karat gold and uh, onion skin conditioning. He has that. That's that's uh, that's one of those rare uh, skinless conditions. Yeah, my. I just hope he 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 holds that. My concern on every single one of these competitors. Um, besides probably Hadi, mm -hmm. is ab control. This is so crucial, and I'm going to say this, okay, because Antoine, like, he has the ability to have the crazy midsection. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's got to stay tight, right? And that goes for a lot. Even Samson, I, I mean, we can talk about it, and I'm not criticizing. I'm just yeah, pointing say. out that if I could give anyone the advice, and this comes from my background too, okay, you saw one show where I had the oatmeal and I felt, yeah. And it, 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 it was. It, I look at those pictures, and that's all I see yeah. is how bad my stomach was protruding, which still wasn't as bad as we've seen others, right? Yeah. Ab control is everything. You, you're a master of it. You didn't have a small waist, but you had a flat stomach. And, and that, <laughs> that that could that could put someone way ahead of another person. If if it's winning taking, or losing, yes, that's, that's exactly and what it is. This at. is where I see James with a great opportunity because I felt, and if you remember when he was in uh, UK, UK mm -hmm. he, very full, a little overblown, but the ab control yeah. wasn't a hundred percent on yeah. point, right? Yeah. Where I feel like because he's in that crazy conditioning, mm -hmm. the control can be there. So I don't know how you did it. I always tell people, glue your stomach to the uh, spine. Of course, but yeah. it's it's the muscle yeah. connection, but training the abs is so crucial. Yeah. And I feel, if you ask me what the number one disregarded exercise is in bodybuilding, it's ab training. Ab training. I'm still training abs every other day no, today. No, nobody really does it. No. You know what I have now? Uh, yeah, I wake up in the morning and do 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 squats. And you know why? It's a priority. So, like I prioritize my calves on chest day, mm -hmm. I tell everyone, yeah. prioritize those body parts, especially because they're going to get to the end of the workout, and you know what they're going to say? I'm hungry. I'm tired. Oh, I'll skip it today. You, you know what? Uh, Keon, Keon Pledgey, he came to me at the, at the Dragon's Lair. I said, ah, you lost your abs. Because <laughs> I get... Because I always talk about uh, yeah, glue your stomach to the spine when you drive the car. When you uh, what do you mean you uh, lost your abs? I, I mean I was training somebody and he and saw and your and gut. And yeah, probably I, I ate uh, you know all you can eat sushi before and then my stomach was all over the place. Or uh, or a, he, lo or a loaf came, of bread. He he came to point out like oh shit yeah uh, you know I get to everybody has to even right now I don't know if camera is in from a good angle. Well, you took a diuretic. <laughs> so did you take a diuretic or don't lie? One little uh, moderatic <laughs> last night. 
after we confirmed the time. <laughs> well, I lost six pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lost six pounds. Well, you probably drank a bottle of wine too, right? Or uh, not just a glass. Okay. Uh, you know, I realize your heart must be good. Dude. Listen, has, have you ever you seen Milos's glass? <laughs> no, but uh, it's like this big. <laughs> no, I promise you. I promise oh, you. I'm just kidding. I, 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 now I learned my lesson. You know, before I was like keeping coming to my wife and Betty is like, you know, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she can gulp down the gallon. You know, so I, I just <laughs> I stretch my glass while she finishes the bottle, right? And then I don't open second. I what shared a bottle with Angie at Avon Louis in oh. Boston the other. Can you believe yeah. that? I drank. Wow. Can you believe it? Wow, are you okay? You have a fever? Yeah. Uh-huh. I drank half a bottle of wine. Half. With her. You, yeah. you, if you ever go oh, to uh, dinner at Milos, yeah, we house, have to. This, it's this not one bottle. There's like twelve. Well, that's bottles why I haven't gone. That's why I haven't gone. You <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. we, we got to do this soon. Listen, this soon. when you go to Milos's house, there's always wine, and there's plenty of bread. Yeah, man. If he allows you to have it, because it's his own personal stash. <laughs> I, mean, I said everything. I know. I, I know. said everything. You, but, you but, love but, bread but, more than anyone. But I listen, know. another tra- uh, great Jay Cutler mentioned importance of the abs, ab training. Ab control. Uh, I don't tell my guys send me the pictures because I don't want pictures. By the picture, you're gonna suck it in and give me the video so I can see it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I have uh, yeah, with Marcelo, and uh, I'm on top of him. You know, like, because it's one thing when you hit it, and uh, one thing before you hit it. And judges, they see everything. Are watching, yeah. And Jud- this is this is where you can lose. Judges don't, for, for whatever reason, some of these bodybuilders don't realize, like, judges don't only see that picture. Oh, they see everything. This can. Every That's guess. where the misleading opinions on the internet. Yeah. Okay, because when you're there visibly watching, that's like the transitions mean everything. But hanging leg raises is, the, is if these pro bodybuilders are not doing hanging leg raises, they're missing the opportunity. Yeah, that's what I always talk about. Because yeah. that's going to help with yeah. stretch. Stretch and, and the create the depth. Cord out. Yeah, good job, psych. Yeah, yeah. Look at you're so excited about ab training. Because yeah, I hate, dude, it's it's key, it's crucial. Listen, uh, Melvin Anthony, <laughs> Melvin Anthony, fell out again. <laughs> Melvin Anthony, this is going on the bloopers uh, reel. Yeah. Jay yeah, Cutler doesn't know. I can hear you. Put his headphones mm-hmm. in. Yeah. So the other person we yeah, have. Yeah, just uh, just to, like to Rick make Ross, that. Uh, Ross doesn't wear these. Common. Yeah. Uh, Melvin Anthony said in a in a podcast that. Damn, Milos, even now, every time I get in the car when I'm putting the seat belt, I was I have to keep my abs tight. tight. Uh, but seriously. How do you look with his shirt off on the podcast? Him, yeah, you know, he's a showman. <laughs> yeah. You know, he you he see him post. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him. That he moves cool. like the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Body is not oh. the same. I mean, I remember years muscle, ago. In a muscle contest. Oh, like, he did? He yeah, just had jeans and he took his shirt off, you know. Yeah. And so the last name on the list... I see is uh, Akeem Williams. Uh, I love Akeem. He's like a dark horse, man. Dark horse that, uh, you know, for me, even before he plays six at Olympia. He's been quiet. Yeah, uh, before he plays six at that Olympia, I was like, how does this guy, uh, not like major player, because that was the size of Ronnie Coleman. Yes. Those legs, those arms, the chest. The guy. And he trains he like Jesus Ronnie Christ. does. Yeah. If not heavier. Okay, and then it was like, oh, thickness of the skin from the back. Eh, okay, you know, still. And then they were even saying, maybe you two, that uh, Kamal should have beat him in that uh, Tampa show. It's a damn bodybuilding. It's okay. too much to give up. It's, uh, yeah. So th- this is for all the, I know that Samir and the many other guys, condition, 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 condition. Yeah, that's, you know, like check uh, condition and then everything else. No, it's sport of bodybuilding not conditioning and dryness and low body fat and dexa scan and it's a bodybuilding you have to build enough muscle shapely aesthetic i would put the emphasis on the shape and aesthetics and uh, this is interesting that you that don't consider yourself aesthetic as much uh you appreciate aesthetic guys so let's compare now what would you think uh yeah. samson and hardy when you look at Every aspect. You would go with uh, as a bodybuilder. I, I mean, Samson wins all day long. Oh. I mean, I, I feel because it's it's proportion, shape, symmetry, um, you know, height. Mm-hmm. I, and not, not, this isn't any disregard, but, you know, I just, I just feel like, like when you think about the ideal, you know, and, and when you're going to stand them next to each other, 
there's going to be a size variance, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm I'm with you. If a guy, because listen, I was never the most shredded guy, but if a guy is in great enough condition and the other guy is super shredded, but doesn't have the shape and it doesn't as look appealing, that's where it's a it's a coin toss, and it really comes down to why there's X judges, not yeah. just one. Yeah. Because I'm sure those judges aren't all in agreement. Okay, that's why there's highs and lows. Uh, transitions. We talk about that. You can't just like when you sit there and say, "Okay, let's go pose for pose." Bullshit. Yeah. You can't yeah. because there's so much in between. Yeah. It's like the symmetry round, and like when we used to do quarter turns, whether you're doing quarter turns and not posing, and then you're going through compulsories. Everyone's like, "Well, let's go through the posing." Well, what about the quarter turns? Yeah. And what about the structure and the things that you don't see? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's what's so important. So I just think that Samson, you know, if I was if I was leading in right now, like I thought, oh, Hottie's going to win this thing. The way Samson looks, I, I mean, listen, he's still the front runner because he is the returning, right? Champion. Even, even though, I, I don't know, like when you won a, a, I don't know, classic and Ronnie would win the Olympia. Now Ronnie would go to the Arnold Classic and you would be there. Who would be a favorite, right? I, I still think, I think Hottie's a front runner just because he beat Samson the last time they competed. Oh, yeah. yeah. but, the, but that's why, yeah. we, have, but, that's but why yeah. we have a podcast. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Opinions, yeah. right? But and I, listen, I love Hottie. And yeah, that's not, I love that's Hottie. not disrespecting him yeah. at all, but, like, dude, Samson owns the show right now. Yeah. You remember, know? Remember, a good big guy is always going to be. Well, that's what Haney says, you know, which we love. Arnold, Arnold that's what Arnold says. Arnold, uh, yeah. But yeah. it's to that, a certain degree, that's it's true. Like every I tall man's. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you know. I, I, I don't, wouldn't go to stretch as far as you. I mean, you just, you're like, this is what is, you know, you, there's no other than you. You're looking at Samson saying, there's no one that can beat him. No. I, I understand that. You're a fan of him. You're a, you're a coach. I still see, you know, I can still see the back double needing, uh, you know, it, but I'm picking. Yeah. I'm yeah. picking at it. And listen, I, I wasn't perfect. So, yeah. I'm just being a critic, and it's hard for me to do that as a former because I hated when people broke me down. And yeah. and but he's got a lot of great balance. Everyone has weaknesses. Every single one of us. Ronnie Coleman's calves weren't so great, right? He had a shorter torso, torso long legs, right? Which usually is good for bodybuilding, no? I mean, Kai Green. I mean, I yeah. think Phil. He still had a better body. I I would question. I never thought Kai Green should have won. You guys might say, ah, well, he should have. Phil Heath dominated that. Like his whole journey, I feel. I think uh, De I think Dexter in fifteen had a better uh, chance to beat. I, I know, in. but did he beat him? No, no I'm saying that you know, Kai ever did. But I mean, Kai was uh, you know freaking impressive when he was uh, 100 percent on, and uh, you know how can you ignore so much muscle? How can you ignore? You know, I just don't think Kai was ever on at the Olympia. Uh, but I just feel like remember we talked about Cedric McMillan, okay? Yeah. Okay, God rest his soul, right? God rest his soul. He. One of the best. We ladies. always talked about if he nailed it, where would he be? Can yeah, you write first next to win? Right. Yes. If yeah. Sam Samson is like a better version, if that, if I can even say that in a sense. Of uh, Cedric, I mean, uh, it's more comparable. Aesthetic. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, he's bigger. It's very comparable. So uh, Danny's telling me I'm out of my mind to say that maybe Arnold Classic would be judged differently because the same judges, the same federation, they're looking for the same things. Possibly, but I do th think that Arnold has a little bit of influence asking for more aesthetic, and that's how Cedric McMillan, you know, won. I, I, you, know, you don't think so? It's the judges, man. Like, it's like I think even Tyler and, yeah, you but, know. You know what? I think Cedric always looked better at the Arnold, too. Maybe because Arnold's in the front row, maybe he cared more about it. Yeah. Because Cedric never nailed I it. I feel the like he, I feel like he never nailed what his full potential he nailed is. Nailed it in New York once, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and yeah, one of the yeah. Arnolds, the Arnold he won yeah. when he yeah. beat uh, Kai Green. Yeah. Dallas. I thought Kai Dallas Green. got second. Didn't he beat Kai Green, or did Kai Green beat him? I think Kai beat him because oh. I Kai won three Arnolds that one in 2016, and then he hasn't what? competed. Okay. Yeah. So you don't think that Kai uh, should ever beat uh, Phil? Well, listen, I, I I love both those guys, but. Mm. My opinion, I just felt Phil was just, I mean, Phil, in 10 years, we're going to look back and give a lot more respect to Phil Heath. I, I You know, I, I sit there and glo gloat about Ronnie Coleman being the GOAT. I always say, oh, you know, Arnold might have been or Lee Haney, but 
I look at Dexter and and Phil Heath, and I'm like, damn, those guys. Phil Heath was legit. Phil Heath was I, Phil's absolutely Mount, legit. Phil's on the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Phil Heath is absolutely. Uh, so when you think about it, when he started, and you saw him uh, coming on, and you had the first one to say he's going to be Miss Olympia. He was so he didn't narrow. Have the, he didn't have the back. Yeah, he didn't yeah, have the back. He didn't have a shoulders or back. And he didn't have the legs. Yeah, leg, yeah, okay. He had good calves, but yeah. he didn't have the crazy legs. And then eventually, then, like you remember, he morphed. You were with him. It took two years and off. Calves, yeah. uh, glutes. It Jesus took Christ. almost two years. But, uh, Dude, he got third at his first listen, Olympia. I don't even know that because uh, right. at um, Fit Nation, they had a, a poster, most muscular shot of um, Phil Heat. It's like impossible, humanly impossible. This has to be uh, photoshopped because the arms and the shoulders, they look twice as big as Arnie's. He, he came in at third, and he only placed a second and a third besides that, right? No, oh, he, he got, got a fifth. fifth. He got, he a fifth. got, he yeah, got food poisoning. He okay, was but, strong. Uh, yeah. but come on. But, but this sure. is what I want to tell you, okay? Because I'm sure that uh, you have nothing to do with it, but some people would Photoshop everybody, including your body. I do remember when I've seen my picture in uh, Venice Golds with the uh, Roland Kickinger. It's like, oh, gee, I mean, I had pretty good arms here, you know. And then, and then I see the real picture. It's like somebody photoshopped. Like, ah, damn, that's not my arm. When, when I I'm do it eye with me. When right? I'm looking, I feel heat in this most muscular shot. It was a couple of days ago in uh, on Instagram. Most muscular shot him and Ronnie. Yeah, that, that's I, not photoshopped. That's real. Mm. That was real. Mm? It's not. I wouldn't bet my life. <laughs> it's was, not Photoshop. His legs actually got better than that. His actually. legs got bigger yeah. and better than that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's outstanding. And it's probably really <laughs> it not Photoshop. It doesn't look real, though. Holy shit. It's probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's from the. Because th this is what from I'm the saying. Same show. Okay. Crazy. When you lift those arms and uh, lift arms don't look nearly as big as when you put them down. I mean, uh, triceps. I mean, Ronnie Coleman had that craziest uh, biceps peak, and and really, uh, you measured twenty four inches or what? Was what it? Twenty. I measured his arms at twenty three. Three. And that was when he was. I was oh seven. He was retired. Oh. Sorry, After uh, uh, this uh, was oh eight. Sorry, he was retired on the on the down slope. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I mean, uh, so feel heat width was maybe not there, but it then was, again, he looks so super aesthetic. Yeah, so to get back, right. I mean, Samson, I mean, listen, he's, we're talking about what could be. Yeah, but I encourage you to actually watch because of my uh, self and uh, Marlena, Samson's wife, we were, we were very critical in looking at him. Back though, Bicep was at Olympia. He looked so improved, and he didn't look like he was being smoked, you know? Of think, course. I don't think he was ever being smoked. Yeah. I mean, that's not, but I'm saying, where mm. can he improve? His legs are crazy, crazy from the front. Calves look, I mean, the side, the side pose now with the leg and the and the glute. and mm -hmm. Like, his side leg has improved a lot, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and his front. side chest, he's got the full pecs. Yep. I mean, listen, I, even two years, whatever it was when we were in Vegas at uh, Planet Hollywood, I remember just sitting in the front row, and, I mean, Samson's pecs, like. It's ridiculous. I mean. I so, mean, you, you could see his pecs when he won, the first show that he ever won in Prague. Prague. And that was the difference when uh, Regan was right next to him. Like, holy shit, what the difference yeah. in the chest. He had the roundness for sure. Yeah. And he's yeah. sober motivated, right? I mean. Oh, listen, uh, Samson is uh, uh, <sighs> the next, and he knows it. And he knows that everything depends just, just on him. He's facing, facing himself. Facing, uh, you know, he knows, okay, he heard it a million times. He's sick and tired of hearing it, but uh, okay, if just, you know, a little bit more dryness, a little bit more condition. Nobody can touch him. And he heard this from everybody and anybody, right? So he believes that uh, what he brings is enough. It was not enough at Olympia. And uh, he's going to need to bring more. And who else? I mean, it's arguably uh, 2022 Olympia champ that uh, narrowly lost 2023 Hadi Chapman. You know, it could be argument that uh, Hadi could have won. And uh, he's going against him. Hardy super motivated to uh, <laughs> redeem himself, right? Uh, I, I think, didn't you see that he's getting bigger? That his uh, glutes are thicker and, uh, and uh, there are some striations coming on and uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say it's the best? I wouldn't suggest it. 
He's not going to outmuscle Samson. No, so, but it's it's gonna it's we talk about the boxiness, right? Yeah. When you have that height, it's like the Derek effect. I mean, if Derek gets bigger, without proportionally getting bigger, you know, unfortunately, it it's not the best look, right? So Derek is as wide as he is tall at this point. That's the kind kind of how I looked when I was at my biggest, and the getting bigger wasn't better. I say this all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I would say oh one. I was the best I mean, aesthetic. I don't want to say aesthetic because that doesn't count in my. You pull off, but people would be like, "Wow, that guy has a good body." You were as aesthetic as you could ever be. Uh, people, like, like from the side, I had no extension. You know what I mean? So I look at there was a good V taper. The front double was there. The arms were big. The legs had a good flare. Uh, where I feel like. As I got bigger, the waist got a little bigger, and the proportions weren't as substantial. I mean, the shoulders were wide, but the waist, the obliques got bigger, right? So it wasn't as appealing to the masses as O one one when you compared me to Ronnie and and Cormier, uh, no, Cor- uh, Sean Ray, whoever else, Kevin Leveron. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually fit in there, right? Oh, yeah. And Surprisingly, it, unbelievable. So Hunter thinks that 2001 uh, J is the best by far, aesthetically, right? And I think... You were winning the show until you turned around. So, like you're saying, okay, Samson would lose because of backdoor biceps. Derek beat him in backdoor biceps, there's no question, of course, right? But there is so many other poses, so, so many other aspects, other muscles, you know, all this stuff. Um, I didn't have anything to really go against because that was the first time I got compared to the top guys in the world, right? So I didn't really have you, that you, mindset. I, you know, you won know, the Night of Champions. Yeah, uh, but I wasn't against the Coleman's and <coughs> yeah. You who know, else was in that? Who got second? Uh, Marcus, right? Marcus, Marcus and then Delette was third, I think, yeah. and Lee Priest was fifth, I think, in that yeah, contest. Yeah. So that was good. Line when I wasn't yeah. compared with those top guys to be able to visually say, okay, I need to work on this because of that comparison. Sometimes when you stand now, I think Samson's been seasoned enough where he's been compared with the likes of the top. And so now he can really pick apart and say, I need to fill this gap and fill this, and that's what exactly he's going to work and he's doing it. And you know what? He's not taking, oh, I'm going to take a year off to do this. Yeah, never. He's, he's improving as he's making he's lean muscle constantly. tissue, right, which so, is crazy. So you tell me. I mean, you tell me. Why would, oh, I got a couple of people also. Oh, even Ronnie said, oh, tell the Sansa not to compete so much. I say, hold on a second, Ronnie. You competed all the time. You went to New Zealand, you went to Europe, you went to, I mean, what do you mean? You know, He's got to understand the age factor too, but at the same time, like there's a lot of money. But you know what? In two years, we could see a million at Olympia. We don't know. I mean, who would have thought it would ever be 400? Oh, yeah, by the way, you, you should speak about that one. Tyler Mannion announced that there's an increase in uh, prize money, $10,000, yep. yeah. For each, for each open yeah. meal show. That's and, good. It's in a good direction, and just yeah. imagine if they do this for Olympia and everything else. Yeah, I, I, the it's, it's great to do it across the board because we've said this for years. Even if you win a show, it's still not enough to usually cover the expenses to get ready for a show. Mm-hmm. Depending on the person. Twenty years ago, it was right. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty years ago, you know, like you said, your first show was what year? Uh, you know, he doesn't. We didn't care about the money, but it's it's, I, I it's harder because the, the yeah. sponsors aren't necessarily paying for yeah. these people to yeah. travel. Like yeah, yeah. we did have sponsors. Our sponsors covered a lot of our stuff, yeah. right? Let's yeah. be real about or it. Or the promoter did. Yeah. Yeah. Because they wanted you there. If if you're good enough to be called in. Uh, Tickets were like put two, on the poster $200 and for, re- you could fly to New York and back from here. And probably yeah, it was 200 You know what's crazy? Yeah. Every damn time I book a ticket now, it's a thousand bucks. <laughs> Almost every time. We're talking economy yeah. in the States. I only talk economy. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I looked up, I just was looking at, because I've, I've had to book different flights for people going to the Arnold, $750 for a one-way on Southwest. Yeah, why don't you say that you spent 5000 on, on a business class ticket to South Africa? It was 5400 so what's it, 5000 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so you, some, that's, it is what it is. Rich manager. There's, there's lots, there's he, lots. He used the... Uh, the I, podcast credit card. No, I feel like he has one. <laughs> Our podcast is broke as hell. I used the Jay Cutler uh, nutrition pot, uh, credit card. He just didn't catch it because there's so many charges. <laughs> I'll take care of you. I'll get you some. We'll go buy it. We're hey, going to go shopping later. Now that you mentioned it, you know, just double check. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of times we fly places and the tickets are 10 grand. 
for one person. He doesn't like to travel anyway. I know he does it, but he still does. Yeah. Still like to be out there, man. The fans are still rot lining up like crazy. I, I appreciate that so much. Like, you know, we have a crazy, crazy schedule just in places that we, next three months. We're, we're honored to be at, um, including UK, Arnold, and FIBO, right? So we just, we're working on the FIBO stuff now. And you know what? You know what's crazy? We talk about this sometimes just in conversation. Could you ever imagine that, that we were just talking about the 01 Olympia? That was 23 years ago. Holy shit. 23 years ago. Fast forward now. Most people, most bodybuilders, when they hit 50, you know, they're around, but their their time's, you know, gone. You know what I mean? They're, they're not as popular, but Jay's 50. He still has the longest lines worldwide. I know there's other guys like influencers, and like our C-Bomb and other guys that they have crazy lines certain places, but Jay has those lines every corner of the globe. It doesn't matter where we go. And it's it, it's not slowing down. It's uh, getting gonna, bigger and bigger. I was going to say most popular bodybuilder, right? And then uh, I, I was rethinking again. Ron is also super popular. Very, so of course, very, I, very. I, I wouldn't be. His lines are crazy. His lines yeah, are crazy too. Yeah, yeah. So you know, there are two top guys in the history. I think. C Bum has crazy uh, lines too, where he goes. He doesn't do as many appearances as Jay yeah. and Ronnie. Jay and Ron, I mean, Ronnie's everywhere. Yeah. Every, every yeah, more, place we more go, than I think, yeah. more, I think more so than Jay, because he'll take he'll do appearances in certain places where we just don't have you know time to go or want to go. But yeah. who would have thought, twenty three years after that, Jay and Ronnie, that they're going to be doing shameless yeah. plug? They're going to be doing photos together at the Arnold and the Arnold UK. Mm -hmm. The amount of people that are still fans of that rivalry that started twenty three years ago and it's still there. So uh, I gotta tell you this. I, I asked Ronnie, "What do you think is the your greatest rivalry? You against the uh, Flex, right? Because there was a uh, you know you and Kevin, uh, you and uh, uh, Jay." And he thought for a second, "Ah, you know nobody. I was my own." You know, I said, "Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> you know, you know, because you know Kevin beat him so many times. Flex. I mean, you remember '98, '99 Olympia. Yeah. But then, really, uh, yours is the longest standing. You guys like started from four. 2001 until uh, yeah, yeah. But then Jay beat him. But he didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, admit it. <laughs> but then, but I wanted him to admit it. He doesn't admit it. But then Ronnie yeah. puts a post up. My greatest rivalry ever is him and Jay. I didn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe after you had that conversation, he's like, "Let me throw this up there." Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I asked him. Because I, I didn't think that that was the greatest ever. You know, going into the street, it was uh, Jay and Ronnie, Jay and Ronnie, okay? So even going to the Olympia, I'm not going to say that, uh, okay, going into the uh, last Olympia, was it the two-man show or there was, uh, you know, five-man show? It, is it, two, is it, two, it is a two-man show? Are they going to hype it as the Hottie Derek show this year? Like that, I don't, I mean. I don't think they can. Yeah. And the reason I say this, and this is no disrespect to either one of them because they yeah. both have an Olympia title. Yeah. Because there's guys in that lineup, if they nail it, I believe they would beat both of them. Like a Samson, mm -hmm. or if Andrew adds a little size, mm -hmm. there's a couple guys that that have the potential to beat Hottie and Derek. They haven't shown it yet, but they have the potential. But, but it was really uh, 2001, you would skip 2002 probably, Greatest regret of your life, <laughs> right? Yeah, probably. Come on, 2002. Yeah, uh, if you showed up anything that you looked like at the uh, Honor Classic, there would be a uh, close the door. Uh, I feel out. I feel blessed. You know, I feel yeah. blessed no matter what. Yeah, because the I had a made. way lengthier career than I ever imagined, and he just talked about you know the the after side of what's going on, and yeah, you know this podcast has been a huge plus for us. You, you. You're a great part of that. For us. We love to have your insight and know that people may question or agree with what you say, right? <laughs> and that's the part about, you know, we all have different personalities on here. Yeah. Um, you know, when we started this thing, it was about, you know, Matt, I want you as a co-host to kind of bounce things off and have your opinion on things. And he's been witness to greatness. Mm -hmm. I've worked with a lot of greats currently even still. Uh, and he's at all the events. I mean, when half the time, I'll be honest, I don't mm. go to a lot of prejudging. Yeah, I know. So Matt gives me, okay, this I is what I this is next to Matt. Th this is what <laughs> this is what I see, and it's it's pretty spot on, yeah. you know. And in you know when he texts me, he said, "Oh, Derek, yeah. Derek's the most impressive here." You yeah. know, he was 
I mean, even when he got second, he said, man, he's he coming on, but Hottie, he, all, he said Hottie wasn't as crisp, but he was a little bigger, and Derek was pretty crisp, but just not, like, he was close, right? Yeah. And that's exactly yeah, how it went down. You got to give you credit. Yeah, yeah, spot on most of the time. I'm, I'm okay with my one eye. And he doesn't works. have, mm-hmm. and he doesn't have, like, he's he's obviously, I think he favors Regan, you know, but, I mean, Regan has it stood next to the top, top, like, you know, it's, yet. it's, I, I do my best to just. But he told me when he, when he, when he won and lost, well, he was pretty. I mean, when he's when we were, and, and I even had some of the other judges talk to me that weren't there, like when Regan and Nathan had their first show. Yeah. And they said, how was it? And I said, Nathan deserved to beat him. Yeah, you, you told me. You did. Yeah. You did. You know, it, yeah. it's just, I, I have an opinion on something and I do mm-hmm. my best not to inject my personal feelings with someone. But if, if a guy deserves to win. He deserves to win, yeah. and that's just the way it is. Because every person up there, every single person up there works their ass. But I think he's rooting Everyone. for John in this lineup. I mean, he's yeah, got but, a great look, relationship. John, with I was John. at John's wedding. Phil and I went to John's wedding. I mean, I would love to see John do well. But well I, to him is what top five, six. If he's in, if he's in that top five mix, I think that's I think that's great for him. Um, is 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 he gonna push Samson? The odds are probably not. I that's another but listen. There's a Seven, eight guys that can beat each other any which way. I know. The question yeah. is, though, who's going to be disappointed from six to ten? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. because as as you get into the back of the pack, but there's still, like, this lineup yeah. is pretty, is pretty, um, like, it, it could turn in a lot of different ways. So it's very hard prediction on who's going to be spot on. We haven't really seen Horse as much, right? Yeah. Uh, I do see him. Yeah, no, but we haven't a, seen yeah. him in the mix with these guys, yeah, yeah. right? So we don't know how he's going to fare. Like Mo Shaban, we just talked about. We talked about Antoine, who sat out to make improvements. Like, what's he going to show up like? I mean, he had a pretty decent run the year. So he did have his run. You did think that uh, Antoine is not controlling his abs? Because no, I didn't notice that before. No, I'm saying that he has a great midsection. Yeah. I mean, if you look at his early pictures, right? He was bottom heavy. Yeah. He's improved a lot. His like, legs, yeah. Wh- I'm saying everyone. I'm talking about Samson. Yeah. Uh, Hadi, I don't think is. We always talk about when he sits on those abs, bro. Is there anyone better in the front? Yeah, Inti really. uh, Yeah, crazy, yeah. right? Um, I mean, John. All these guys that are pushing size. Mm-hmm. Mo Shaba. I can go for all these guys. Yeah, uh, Akeem. You know what's crazy? I'm looking at this. I think it's a Samson Hottie show. Third, every single guy in that show could potentially get third place. Yeah, yeah. There's you can make but, an argument for all. Now, of them. it's that competitive. Should you tell any of those guys that they, they have no chance of winning? No, no, no. I would, Everybody no, I would tell has. Them. I mean, who would think in a, in a million yep. years that uh, Jake Hallett, two thousand one, can that's, potentially? That's win. true. But going into that show, it was the what Flex and or Kevin and, and Ronnie show, but Jay shocked him. I'm saying yeah. going into this show. You have a, a former Mr. Olympia and the and the reigning Arnold Classic champion that just were top three at the Olympia. Those two are going to be the front runners. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, the rest of these guys, any one of them could place third. There isn't a heavy, this guy is going to get third. Any one of those guys could jump up in there and be compared with them, depending on how they look. You can't say James James could be there. James could Akeem be there. Akeem could be there. Yeah. Justin Rodriguez could be there. Yeah, Horse sure. MD could be there. Raphael could be there. Yep. John could. Any one of those guys could if they nail I it. Mean, so you, this is a great show for every one of these real guys. Real math is going to say Raphael, Force MD, James. Who else am I leaving? Antoine. Uh, no, I'm just saying I, I would if if Justin. you were Justin. Yeah, I mean, yeah. all these guys could he, be there. You haven't third. seen Akeem also, just like uh, I know. Shaban, right? Every one of, the, so every one of these guys has won, a, has won a decent show too, except mm-hmm. uh, Horse MD's new. Yeah, I, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm very yeah. curious to see what Akeem looks like because he he's placed in the top six in the Olympia. So for him, like, what are we gonna get? Like, we, we're so if you're Akeem, you already know you have a size to beat anybody, you know, pretty much. Of course. So what you need to bring, you need to bring a conditioning. So of course, suffer, 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 and uh, and you know if you have to deplete into the show. I know a lot of guys that would deplete into the show. When you have a that kind of muscle mass, you can, right? So uh, a presentation is important too. Yeah. I, you know, I'm thinking about James, and I'm like, his confidence has to mean a lot right to show James presentation. Kind of I know, but 
that is going to have him showcase the physique even you know, better. You know what? Right? And, and I'm going to take this a step further. This could change. This show could help change the trajectory of a lot of guys' careers. Oh, yeah. Because going into the Olympia, just being fair, the way it is now, most of these guys would never be compared next to Samson or Hottie at the Olympia level because then you're going to have the Derek Sayer and other guys. There's guys Nick here Walker. now, Nick Walker, there's guys in this show that if they work their ass off, they're going to stand next to a former Olympia yeah. winner in the reigning Arnold Classic champion. They might not at the Olympia, and yeah. they're not going to catch them at these smaller shows. Yeah. So even if you get third or fourth and you hold your own next to one of these guys, it can change your confidence and the trajectory of your entire career. No different than Jay getting an 01. Why did he get where he was? He got Set placed next to Ronnie. Yeah. So one of these guys yeah. is going to stand next to the best in the world. See, that's exactly for uh, or Sam D. When at Romania, he was standing right next to Samson. So he could see himself next to the top. He's competitive, yeah. 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 So it's a huge booster for confidence. Yeah. and uh, yeah. So any one of these guys that's getting ready for the show mm -hmm. should be thinking that. Uh, I can be compared next to the best. Because yeah, okay. whenever, yeah. whenever it doesn't matter when Regan's going to a show, like when I have co conversations with the guys, all you want to do is be able to be compared next to the best guys. And wherever you've placed is where you place. New York Pros is looking like a show, isn't it? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Nick Walker, we have um, uh, and Antonio's. Uh, Burton. Yeah. Is, is Clinton yeah. doing that show? Probably, I and then, uh, I mean, with Justin next, next, next Zilla, next Zilla, next Zilla is probably yeah. going to be there. Okay, that, that, that's that one question. Is some of the experts were saying, like, oh, yeah, Nick Zilla could beat Samson. Well, no, at, you uh, can't see till he stands there. At, at, uh, at, the aesthetics, uh, it's a little different. But, but uh, uh, the, what was the Prague show, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so when you hear such a thing, oh, yeah, he could have beat him. What do you place at Prague? Third. Third. But it was it was actually fourth of the three judges. He has some work to do still. He has yeah. uh, work to do, but but you know that's how people just throw the ideas. Oh yeah, that makes it yeah. exciting, you know. Yeah, but then again, you have to be uh, really realistic. I mean, uh, you were saying '99, you wanted to uh, be compared with. I thought, that. I, was, I thought I was going to beat Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, <laughs> you're laughing. I'm yeah, laughing. I didn't, I, okay. The sick part is you I see? didn't even beat you. How's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You that, that, needs that needs to be a meme. That needs to be a meme with some bubbles. Yeah, I'm going to beat Ronnie Coleman. How the hell did I expect to beat how Ronnie Coleman and I couldn't even beat Milo? Yeah, exactly. Listen, <laughs> so to whoever's yeah, listening yeah, to this yeah, podcast, yeah, I need a meme made where it says Jay Cutler. I'm going to beat Ronnie Coleman and then. Milos with that smile. Uh, uh, I, could, even I couldn't even get compared with yeah. a guy that I tied with in 98. But, uh, okay, this is not that you mentioned. <laughs> Being delusional. <laughs> if, if, that's what you, if that's what you thought, you were completely delusional. So when I was talking to uh, guys, and I said, like, listen, I never you know, thought I can be Mr. Olympia, and I'm competing with Sean and Flex and, and Kevin and uh, Lee and Dorian Nasser, all this. I never... You know, I was delusional enough to think, oh, yeah, I can go there and win. Okay. But then uh, later I kind of regret it, you know, because even if you're a little delusional and you dream about something and you have the winner's mentality, I'm going to go there, right? I didn't have that. So I, I don't know if it's good or bad. So it's funny for me that you actually, you claimed this a few times that you, you thought. Dude, you're if, be I, would, if I would have drawn the number next to Ronnie like I did in 01, dude, I would have been in the top three for sure. 2000, you sucked, man. No, Olympia. Come on. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Uh, I know, but uh, I don't, don't that was, bring uh, up that was a year before 2000. 2000, <laughs> uh, did you think of 2000 you're going to win Olympia? Too? No, no, no. Oh, 99, so though. No. Why did you think 99 that you were win Olympia? I was burnt out in 2000, uh, okay. honestly. You uh, said yeah, EJ yeah. sucked in 2000. He sucked 2000. Like, yeah, yeah, he eighth, and I beat him, you know. <laughs> did you do it in 2000? No, 2000. Oh, you sat out. Okay, maybe that's I, why. You were lucky because it didn't allow me to compete. I was uh, not <laughs> medically clear. Yeah. That would be another victory over Jay. I, 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 I was actually really good for that show, but I over-depleted myself bad. Really? Yeah. Because you look soft. As yeah, because I just a... was flat. I just wasn't, like, I looked good at leading up to the show. Yeah. Just didn't, I didn't nail it, like, 100%. I just, my head wasn't in it, like, it should have been you know but then uh, and um, then i did the tour and i mean i moved up you know what i mean yeah, second yeah, there remember second. i i that was that was uh, you almost beat ronnie coleman uh yeah. i did um week later i did a lot of diuretics yeah in uh, europe huh? yeah but the question is <laughs> yeah. listen, the qu <laughs> there's a serious, did you do more i didn't than have he, an, i didn't have a lot of people to show did you do more than he did for this podcast yeah. <laughs> 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 
And that's a scary thing when he says a lot Wait because a he failed the he, he he failed the test 2001 for five day already. Listen, <laughs> now I keep repeating this because that's that's like a punchline. Now, now I have a serious personal question for yeah. you. Okay. Now, when you're going to these UFC fights and I you're know, meeting, a, and you're meeting a lot of really uh, important uh, people, <laughs> do you diuretic just no, in case? No, no, what no, if no. you met Donald Trump or what if you meet one of no. these famous people? Don't you want to? Don't you want to make no, sure no, your no. face is good? No, you see, I, you know, now you give me a idea, but uh, no, I never did before. <laughs> Wait, I might, for I might be such and such fighter. Let me take you one. You know, because I, I have to be like sucked in like a Jay. Yeah. Jay was never sucked in anyway. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's another thing. Back in the 90s, you see a dead face. Oh, this guy's in shape. Look, they're in shape. Yeah. And then you see, like, Jay Cutler looks like a basketball. <laughs> like a certain, uh, and, uh, and then he's ripped. Because <laughs> <laughs> he pulled, like, 20 pounds. That's that's your newer, you know, are you in Jay Cutler basketball condition? <laughs> no, yeah. but seriously, the more I the more I think about that, this, this Arnold, um, not a lot of shows can change a trajectory of people, you know, but this show... There's two guys that, that are, and that's no disrespect to anyone else, just because of their resume, there's two guys that are uh, that have proven to be at this level. Yeah. Okay? One won the Arnold, one's won an Olympia. That's, that's as high as it gets. There's a bunch of guys that are trying to move up into that next conversation, mm -hmm. and this show could do that for them. Yeah. Where yeah. you're, you're not going to get this doing the such and such pro in the, uh, around the world or whatever, but this show, you can well, one more thing, let's give a credit to Nick Walker, right? There was a talk about him being specially invited, and a lot of us actually agreed that, you know, he would I, be deserving I was going to petition for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. he was. But uh, that shows you. I mean, yeah. okay, that's a true warrior, very confident, and he wants to earn it. He doesn't want anything given. So, you know, that's very respectful. Um, what do we think of Andrew Jack? Andrew Jack uh, uh, is not competing now. I think it's a very good idea because uh, if you see him on my Instagram, it looks like he's, he's doing some serious heavy work too. heavy. I haven't heavy. seen. I haven't seen what he's yeah, yeah, he he doing. Like 150 pound dumbbell shoulder presses the other day. Yeah, so he's putting aside. So he's going to be marvelous, right? Uh, Brandon Curry, we had him on a, on a podcast the the other day, yes. Tuesday, and yeah, he <coughs> he might be doing a um, Dubai show, maybe. Yeah, huh? it's in July. Yeah, so. He doesn't need to, right? He doesn't need to because he's qualified for Olympia, but he might. You know, that depends. So when you say all these guys that right now can earn this first Olympia call out, okay, this this is how it is. For sure. Whoever stands there next to uh, Hadi and Samson uh, is going to be seen, is going to be compared. Yes. A lot of people are going to dissect it and all this stuff. Oh, they earned the right to be to next to first and second. Judges remember that. Yeah. There'll so. be no invites this year, though, right? I hope not. I don't think anyone should. You know, I mean, well, we don't know yet. Well, we don't know what's going to happen. But maybe, maybe you'll come back. No, well, but, but I, I, that's right. Well, what if Milos wants to step up? I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't even be a stage decoration. <laughs> you know, uh, I would be like, you know, the the black. You were voted one it. of the most handsomest bodybuilders of ever. What do you think? What do you think about that? How many covers do you have, by the way? Over hundred. You don't know the exact. What's your favorite cover? Of all, what's your favorite cover of all time? Mine? Yeah, favorite magazine. Cover. Um, is it Muscle Mag? Is it Flex? Is it Muscle and Fitness? Is it Iron Man? Which one? Yeah, none of those had enough muscle, really. When I think about my covers, the like, goddamn, I look like a man. Season. I know, but like you had the girls <laughs> and whatever. But you were so. still yeah. you weren't that small, though. Hey, you know, relatively speaking, yeah. You know. What were you? Two forty in a lot of those. 250? Yeah, 232, 237. But how tall are you? When, when I beat five, Jay, nine, when, five, I, ten. when I beat Jay, that was 250. How, t how tall are you? I was 5'11". 5'10 and a half. How tall are you now? 5'8", maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you might have shrunk the most of any body I think so. ever. I think so. My, my grandma, you know, that's, uh, I, I think uh, I'm terrified of their genetics. My grandma was, uh, you know, quite tall woman and, you know, Jesus. I wonder if, um, I wonder if you're, you're, um, your discs are, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. You should it go to one of the TRX seven thousand. I, I accuse him. I accuse him of you know putting uh, stuff in his shoes. No, he was just because shocking. he was like, yeah, he was taller than me. Like, how can you push in his dollar? You know what? Taller. You know what we're gonna do next time we see Nick Walker, we're gonna put you next to each other. We're gonna see <laughs> if he's taller than you know. 
is if you're shrinking. Hey, you remember last time at that uh, yeah, yeah, show? Yeah. Torture room. No, no, no. We, no. we measured you two. We measured. I was taller, right? <laughs> Barely. But Barely, a little but bit. I was taller, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. You should have been about, uh, your normal height years ago, you'd have been about three inches taller. Yeah, no, but uh, right now, I wouldn't even stand next to him. Maybe after uh, cameras are off, we, we check. <laughs> <laughs> we can stand back to back right here where I'm standing. Yeah, we, we, we have, we'll have we'll have video proof. All right. Well, listen, so, we appreciate you coming on. I love it. We're yeah. definitely going to do this again as we uh, how how far how many weeks? Three weeks out. Maybe okay. maybe the week. Well, the week of I leave Wednesday. The week of to go to the Arnold. Oh, uh, you'll be Tuesday. there. Um, I'm going on Saturday. You'll be there a week week before. Yeah. Okay. Where are you going to train? At that gym or? I don't know. You know, Samson is. Uh, Must be alone. Yeah. He, he got the apartment uh, close, but then last time he says there was way too many people, so we went I to agree. a different gym. Same like Olympia. Regan was going to that one, and uh, he didn't want he wanted to go to a completely different. Yeah, you know. there's there's options. And, and I have a three guys now, so I'm going to probably go to the three different gyms. Are you making predictions on the other podcasts? Yeah, I did make a prediction. Um, Which uh -oh. we don't want. We don't want Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we know what it is, what your top three is going to be anyway. So it's not it's pointless, you know. Uh, yeah. Who who are you the I most who are you the part. most excited to see outside your top three? But outside of your guys, that's what I mean. Yeah. Top his his guys. Yeah, Hardy. I'm I'm a big fan of Hardy. I mean, so you really, want to see what he? Are you curious yeah, to see what he looks like? Because uh, you know when you think about it, I mean, a guy could have won every pro show that he ever competed. I know they say, oh no no no. Even in 2020 when he was fourth, think about it. Who won that year? Uh, Big Ramy, second okay. was Brendan Curry, third was Phil Heath. Okay. At the final show, he looked crazy, and then every judge gave him second place. And they gave little, him second. He needed a bigger window from landing. and being That was when we yeah, landed was, like that, 36 that was, hours out. But uh, every other show he ever competed, there was an argument that he could have won. Okay. Now, you're talking here again. I'm still hashtag bodybuilding. I still think that the Samson has a... Way too many things, to, you know, in toolbox to beat him. But Hardy is uh, everybody builds bodybuilder, straight and rock hard. Uh, presentations of the chart, very confident. That's what uh, many people say. Oh, you know, make sure that uh, uh, Samson is very uh, competitive and uh, and uh, don't let him dominate. You know, Samson doesn't let anybody dominate. The only thing that it was, those guys were sprinting to the front. You know, so the, something. But, but if you remember, if I remember right, I don't know if they did this for the men. Don't they have that little pedestal that the Arnold guys have to stand so they yeah. can't do that? That's that's a solution, the immediate yeah. solution. Yeah. All you got to do, even if it's an inch higher, then the guy will not be able to step off. Yeah, because yeah. it it is it is pretty bad. I have some Iron Man pictures with the, uh, Jay. I I I, I I'll tango him a little bit. Why don't you post them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it, I already posted ten times. Uh, so <laughs> shout out to Arnold Classic, yeah. ArnoldSports.com. Yeah. Obviously, tickets I think are still available. There'll be a, a, a broadcast also of the contest. We are doing photo ops there. I'll be floating through the whole weekend. Um, we'll have some the week of. They'll hear. Yeah, more. you'll hear more advertisement. But whoever's need, not coming if to you, Ohio, if you need the diuretics for the photo shoot, uh, you know, just I'm, I'm, I think I'm good call. That, man. But I, I look forward to spending some time there, and uh, hopefully, has a tackle box. hopefully, I will will see some of your uh, predictions come true. And you know, we should have an awesome, awesome show there. So shout out to uh, I already. I'm here. already gonna have the the post podcast where you have that picture of you like. <laughs> then uh, for the I think it was the same picture. <laughs> we'll make uh, it. Well, I'll take a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he does. He he uses the same, you know, They're good thumbnail. Ones, yeah. yeah, but you can use the same picture for two thumbnails. Yeah, you can. No, that's you I'm not the social post. media. You know that I'm demonetized from a goddamn YouTube. Why? Because, you because swear too much, or no? Because I, I repost all my like podcasts with you. Yeah. I, I let it, you know, for a couple of weeks, and then I I post it. Same thing with the old school. Yeah. I mean, it's me there, right? So uh, wait one month. So you're stealing someone's content? No, yeah. So that's what uh, yeah. they accused me of, and I did. I didn't pay attention, and uh, I guess I, I lost the that period of time that I could uh, complain. Why complain? We're all of the story. <laughs> Ronnie Coleman said that. Yeah. Why complain? Yeah. You remember that? Keep complaining. That's You'll the best be speech in, ever. You what remember, did he say? Right? You'll be in second place. Yeah, 1991, <laughs> I, didn't I didn't complain. Place. I didn't make a dime. I didn't complain. Nine nine. You said someone like apples or someone like pears yeah. or something. That's right. Yeah, I an analogy, but big shout out, man. Thank right. you, guys. Guys, make sure you guys comment. 
Uh, like, share the podcast. And of course, if you agree or disagree with some of our comments, please, we'd love to hear your opinions and appreciate you guys following along and listening. Thank you.